Okay, welcome back, guys. This is part two of my <laughs> collective AliExpress haul. Um, I had ended the first video showing you dies. Uh, I didn't realize just how many I had collected over the time. Um, so I went through all of these um, on part one. If you guys want to check that out, back toppers, Christmas ones. I think there's even Halloween different stuff in here so let's move on let's see where I'm not sure if I showed these words in the first video so I'm gonna go ahead and share them right quick um, if I already did I apologize <laughs> if not here we go so I also grabbed these um, word dies that have the background pieces to them you get winter snow burr and cold and i have cut out a few i'm waiting on some adhesive and glossy accents to dry and i'll probably do a project share or post on instagram to share with you guys so i got those words and i got another set of words so um you get santa baby This one is no peeking. This one is secret Santa. And then you get a fourth one. It is over here because I still need to cut it. Um, and this one says jingle bells. And these also have the layering pieces. Super adorable. And I'm already having fun cutting some of those words out. I've also played with this one. So hopefully I can share it soon. It is a bag topper. And that is your back piece. And then you get the words to layer and it says ho 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 and then you get the circle here and the uh, um, little pinwheel stripes to make your candy piece and all of the O's in ho 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 are a candy piece I'll do a quick I think that one's dry I'll show you that one right quick so here it is put together It is a back topper, or you can cut that back piece off or glue it together and it be, you know, just a sentiment piece to go on a project. So I did ho 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 and um, cardstock, white cardstock. The background is from Santa Baby Collection from Michaels a couple of years ago. I think it's Michaels. And then I used Wink of Stella on that cardstock. So I'm not sure if you can, there we go. I think you can see it. But I also used white glitter cardstock. Um, I was doing some some of my other words with it. So I went ahead and cut out the bottom piece of the candies with the glitter cardstock. So it's a little bit shinier. And then used some uh, matching pink paper to make the little candies there. Oh, and this little back topper or embellishment measures uh, right past four inches. Like... A hair you see that <laughs> not even quite an eighth one sixteenth I guess you'd say all right so there's that one and then this one I ordered a while back um, it's been here for a little while I can't remember if it was the vintage goose Melissa poke it up Hong Kong Monty um, one of our crafty friends had ordered this and put it together and it was so stinking cute. So I had to go grab it. You get the bunny and it embosses the scarf, the trees there. And then you get the little hat in which you can, um, cut in different pieces to get your things, you know, your little, um, the ends and the top, or you could use pom-poms. Um, and I also wanted to mention if you get this and take it apart, I mean, it is only two pieces, so you may not want to, but... Up here at the top, this tiny little piece, there's a piece that says Bunny Moon, uh, which is the company it came from, and then that piece right there, that is not trash, it is the layering piece for the nose right there. So, just a heads up, because there's like just, just the one tiny piece. So, yeah. And then, I have this with Christmas, but I guess it could also be Valentine's. These are the little uh, candies. You have the small one there and the large one and the layering pieces. 
going to get a circle and layering pieces for the swirls. The uh, biggest one there is two and a half inches, and then the smaller one is one and three fourths of an inch. So that's going to be a cute little thing, and it doesn't have to be Christmas. Like I said, you could use it for Valentine's, anything. Little candies. Okay, and I think I think this is the last Christmas one. So this is the snow globe shaker. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be a shaker, but you do get that extra piece there if you wanted to cut your outside part and foam to make it a shaker. Um, you get you know your snow piece, trees, snowflakes, stars. Um, your bottom piece here that maybe would be wood. And then a little decorative piece as well. I cannot wait to play with that. Oh, and this one, uh, measuring from the bottom of the globe here to the top, is, let me see, three and five-eighths of an inch. So, Okay, and then I got some other dies. Let's see. Um, I think it was KS Craft that um, a lot of these came from. I know that one was. And then, like, um, the words and the bag toppers, a few others. Um, so, this was a freebie that they um, put in, I believe. Um, and it's, like, to make a... I guess like a gatefold type card. So you get the piece that cuts it here. And then you get two stitch pieces. Um, for layering as well. Um, and I, this one. It says 10 piece. I don't know why. But it's just a bag they put it in. Um, and this one um, probably won't be linked. Because I don't. I, you know I didn't per, um, pick this one out. I will look and see if I can find it. In case you're interested. Um, but if it's not there. Um. It's because I couldn't find it. Okay. Uh, this one here is stars. This is a whole bunch of stars connected. You could cut out in one color. You could cut out, you know, two or three colors. And then trim off some stars and layer it up to make different colors if you wanted to. And um, this little piece measures five inches long. See this one. I can't remember where it came from. Maybe DIY art bin, it, but it'll be in the description box. So it's nesting scalloped stitched tags. <laughs> that was a mouthful. So they're scalloped on the edge with stitching. Nesting, you get one, two, three, four, five. It's five of the banners, but you also get a layering piece for each one. So if you see a scalloped. That's the main part, and then layering piece, scallop, layering piece, scallop, layering piece. So you actually get two, four, six, eight, ten dies in here if you count them all separate. Okay, and then this one, I guess this could be for Christmas as well as Valentine's. I believe it's for Valentine's, um, but I mean, hearts are cute, and then they're candies. So, they could be used for Christmas. So, this one is, um, you get the large scalloped heart and a smaller one. And then you get layering stitched pieces for each one or to use on their own. And then you get the candy pieces to layer as well. So, this one, when cut out, you'd line up the stitch marks. There you go. And you would have a little, you know, candy piece. And you could layer it inside the stitch tart if you wanted to, like that. So, yeah. Um, and I like that the candy pieces are separate because you don't have to make it into candy. If you wanted to use the hearts alone, you've got the four different hearts to use um, however you like. Um, and I think I mentioned before, I love, love, love a die set that has more than one intended use. I like to find other ways to use my dies. Okay, and then um, I found this one also. Little cluster of hearts. Super adorable. 
I have not used this yet. Um, I had a cut file um, and was able to cut these out in gold. Um, I don't see them. I was going to show you right quick, but they're not on my desk anymore. I must have put them up. Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to try my hand at making a shaker out of this since it has the double lines there. And then put um, like uh, one of those caviar beads in the little sections. But this one measures four inches by two and a quarter. Super cute. And again, that could be used not just for Valentine's, but for really any time of the year, just different colors. And then last but not least, in the dies. Sorry, I gotta grab my chair. So I got these. Um, they are, I think they're called primitive stitched hearts. Um, you can see they're not like a regular heart with like that bubble bottom, or bubble, you know, bubble bottom or whatever you want to call it. They have that comes down, and I love, love, love the way that looks. And so these are double stitch, meaning they have the stitching on the inside or the outside. So if you wanted to cut this heart out of something instead of cutting the die cut, if you if that makes sense, um, it would leave the stitch. Um, and I, I don't know if that makes sense. Here's a piece though that um, I can show you for example. Um, the word Santa baby. Um, I cut it out to make an embellishment, but this is the piece that it got cut out of. So if I, that's what I mean by so if I had this piece of cardstock, I would cut a heart and it would leave the stitching and the shape in my paper versus the piece that comes out. So. All right, um, that is the last of the dies. I got some sequins and some beads and charms I wanna show you guys right quick. Um, yeah, so from one shop I've grabbed these two different golds. Um, you never know what kind of projects you're going to need. And they're like those little wheel looking ones. Yeah. Super cute. Grab those. Let's see. Oh, where's the other one that matches this? I'll get to it. Okay. I grabbed these. Um, I call them candy cane sequins, but they're, I think they call them red and silver zebra stripe, but they're the red and silver stripe ones. Really good for Christmas projects. Hope you can see that without just a big glare. Okay, and then um, I noticed when I did Halloween stuff that um, I didn't use black just for Halloween and I wanted some different shapes. Uh, so I found these little square ones. Let's see if you can see there, just small squares. And then. I uh, found these flowers. So these are um, like a satin finish. And they are slightly cupped. And it's mixed colors. Pink, green, purple, orange, yellow. Yeah. So some little slightly cupped satin sequins. And then these are... Actually, these are slightly cupped as well, but not as cupped as these. So maybe this is called fully cupped and this is called slightly cupped. So a little bit of a cupping to them rounding. So they're yellow um, iridescent sequins. Love yellow and I need to get some different shapes in my stash. So there's those. Um, oh, I believe the same place I got the black ones is where I grabbed the gold ones. You can see a lot better with these. <laughs> Just some gold squares to have a little something different. We all love to mix up different, all different things in our stash, in our, you know, sequin mixes. Okay, so um, this one I did order way before Halloween. Um, and it came a little before Halloween, but I didn't get a chance to use them. So I'll just put them up for next year. But these are little uh, pastel spider webs. You can kind of tell next to my thumb that they're a little bigger, bigger size. So iridescent pastels. 
And I also found these little um, pastel deer. Yes, pastel deer sequins. Um, I love them. I love pastel. And I love Christmas projects. And, okay, this has purple too. So, I could definitely use this with like Phil and Frosty. And I would probably pick out the yellow ones. But there's pink, purple, blue, green. Maybe some white. Super adorable little sequins. You can see there. Tiny little deer. Love them. And then I found these. They were listed as um, nail sequins. Yeah. Nail sequins. Um, so these feel a lot thinner than these. So these could be more like a foil. Um, but they're little tiny gold butterflies. And then these, um, they remind me, they look like they've been cut out of pink vellum almost. So they're like a satin finish, I guess you'd say. Little soft pink little butterflies. Adorable. And then I also grabbed the white. And like I said, I guess it's called satin, but it looks like they were cut out of bright white vellum. Um, and I just loved that they were a different texture and just how they look color this is almost like a frosted white instead of a white so yeah really like those and that's all the sequins um in this collective haul so then i've got a few beads here be a couple of beads and a couple of charms so the first one here um they sent me silver and gold i ordered gold so i don't know what i'll do with the silver um but they're these little Almost like a melon striped bead, but they're gold on white. Um, I feel like with the silver, they almost look gray, but they are on white. Oh, let me grab that. Got to run away. So I thought those were fun little beads. And I actually thought they were bigger than this. That was one of my times. I was probably half asleep shopping and did not pay attention to the size. Um, they didn't put them in a bag either, like a little... Um, you know, coming in a bag like this or something. They didn't do that. They just threw them in there like that. That's just so that's why I still have them in that. Okay, and then I got these little beads. They're like um ombre. Um, I think people call them bayberry beads with the little like dots or whatever all over. Um, but they're like light pink into dark pink. Oh, one's broken. Look at that. Looks neat on the inside though. So yeah. Little ombre um, pink bayberry beads. And then I found um, these. I knew the size, but I wasn't sure um, what color I'd like. So I grabbed a mix. Um, I don't think I would necessarily order these colors again. But I do like the size of them. The blue are okay. The white are, you know, plain. But if you look... The purple and then this brownish looking rust color have a different finish than the others. Almost like they were spray painted or something. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it looks spray painted. I can actually see another color through that purple right there where it didn't get covered completely. Excuse my ugly peeling hands. So yeah, they look, they look spray painted. Um, there's a pink one, two different greens. I don't know, but it was an odd mixture, but they're okay. Let's see. Oh, um, I grabbed these, uh, I call them flower centers. I'm not sure what they're actually called, but they're perfect little pieces to put in the center of our paper flowers. Um, and they bend if you wanted to flatten them out or cup them more. They do bend, just, you know, you wouldn't want to smash them. Um, just the right size to put like a gem or a stone right in the center of it for your flower. So I grabbed those. I think I've already, yeah, I had, there was two bags and I have shared some of those already. And then I grabbed these little pine cone charms. Um, I chose a more, the gold I chose, um, 
I don't know. These look rose gold to me. Um, what I saw, the picture, I thought they would be more of this color than this. It looks rose gold to me. Um, or like a, I don't know, a vintage -y color. But, that's okay. Um, adorable little pine cones. And then, uh, these are ones that were in my cart for a while. And I don't know why I didn't check out sooner with them. Um, but I did go ahead and grab them not long ago. So, these are those cute little birds that are very Maggie Holmes-ish. So, these are pink, almost a coral pink and yellow. And how many come in that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then these, I think you can see the detail better on these. Um, just because of how much the yellow and the gold on this one. So these, you can see the feather and the face, the eye. So they are uh, um, baby pink with a teal color. I hope you can see those well enough. And then, oh, I forgot I grabbed these. I did go ahead and buy some of the strips of Velcro from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I had previously ordered these um, baby pink Velcro dots. Um, you get both sides. You get a sheet of these and a sheet of these so that you have the coordinating pieces. So, yeah. Um, that is it for my collective haul. Um, I didn't realize quite how much I had collected over the time. And I needed to play with some and organize some. So, yeah. I wanted to share with you guys. Um, as normal, I will have links in the description. If I miss something and you're interested in it, please leave me a comment and let me know. And I never say this, but please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and share this video with someone. I need to get viewers and subscribers up. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.